Hi, Volker again. I hope I'm not bothering you to see me uh, again, but it was an uh, appointment we make, uh, made a talk because uh, Michael has <laughs> forgotten his smoke machine. Yeah. Uh, vapor, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I call it a smoke machine. <laughs> yeah, right. And, but uh, uh, that was for me uh, the possibility to thank you for all the nice uh, feedback I, I got and uh, the really warm welcome you have given to me. It was really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. I told you the community will love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, uh, for, for me it's, uh, it's, it's, it's nice because people think I'm coming from the high-end uh, audio business, which is true in some way but my main thing is uh, uh, transferring the best music to uh, the listener that was my idea 40 years ago mm -hmm. and I'm a little bit bit uh, unhappy about the way uh, high-end audio is going uh, at the moment it's I mean uh, you will see cables mains cables like as, as thick like a, a arm or front panels waiting, waiting uh, 20 kilos or more. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I get your point. Yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. a little bit yeah. sad. When yeah. I started uh, uh, the high end, the business or interesting in uh, in hi fi in audio, it was pure loving music. I mean, we had only black boxes or a turntable from Dual or <laughs> uh, from from Riga or Thorens, and we had a lot of fun with this, and we we learned to handle it. Yeah, right, right. And now it's uh, mainly about shining front panels and uh, cables, and I tell you, I tell you, really tell you, uh, to move the speakers five centimeters backwards or forwards or to the sides and to find the right place in the room makes more more uh, effect right if, yeah, effects yeah, yeah, uh, more yeah. more music than uh, uh, expensive uh, cable i mean maybe i'm now the enemy of the cable companies but uh, that's <laughs> my opinion <laughs> yeah right right but i right uh, you you did this with me at my room we 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 um, uh, uh, Changed the speaker places a little bit, and the effect was was unbelievable. Then that's true. That's true. I, I mean, totally I mean, agree. with a heavy front panel or having chassis, you will not uh, really uh, bring the music uh, to the best level. That's will, right. Uh, All right. Yeah. yeah. Everything has to get together. In the in the video, uh, the community made some great, important, and cool questions and discussions. Uh, one of the main topics have been the belt drive. Maybe, maybe uh, uh, if you find the time, get a little bit more into the belt drive. What was the main reason, or is there a main reason you decided to use this drive? I think uh, there are three three possibilities how to build a turntable mainstream possible. Uh, one is a friction wheel turntable, one is a belt driven turntable and one is a direct drive and all of them have possibilities, uh, uh, sorry, advantages mm -hmm. but also disadvantages mm -hmm. and we, uh, we, we, well I thought it is best to concentrate on one thing which I think will give you the minimum of problems. Mm -hmm. uh, because, for example, for a direct drive, I really can understand how somebody likes a direct drive because it's a good dynamic and everything. But please, please be aware that you have the motor directly onto the platter. platter. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that means the motor can disturb the tracking pro process because of his uh, field of uh, rumble, whatever. So it's nothing, nothing of uh, is, uh, uh, problem free. Yeah, you have to make decisions and avoid. Yes, and avoid. And I, I uh, think the, for, uh, for me personally, the, was the easiest way to uh, to get a good result. Okay, uh, yeah. To cho choose uh, the belt driven turntable. 
The second with some nice ideas. I have to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second uh, 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 discussion was about the symmetric uh, 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 drive. Yeah, it's just, what I understand with that is uh, uh, that he means with two motors. Mm -hmm. I can understand that totally. Uh, if you have a normal bearing system, that means you have a one-point bearing. And if you only have, have one motor, it can pull pull the motor to the motor side. Mm -hmm. And if you have the second motor, it will be stable. Uh, that's ah, okay. the reason. But with our bearing, uh, it's not uh, not uh, a problem, not necessary, because mm -hmm. this bearing in itself in, is stable, absolutely stable. Ah, okay. So because with the it's second, it's not a normal bearing with mm -hmm. one point. So. But if you don't have that, the second motor, of course, again causes problems, right? And uh, first, the advantage is that you have a symmetric drive, mm -hmm. so the, the the bearing system will not be offended by 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 mm -hmm. that. But you have the second motor, and even to get rid of the problem with one motor, is exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, then there was a little discussion or question. We talked about the mono cartridge. You made a suggestion, but probably we will figure out and we, we will try different cartridges, right? That's, that's what I would advise you. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, there were some uh, nice uh, uh, ideas about the cartridge Miami, I mm -hmm. think. Uh, then uh, Autophone, mm -hmm. this classic, the SPU, uh, or also EMT uh, Studio cartridge, which also is available in mono. So there are some choices, and I think best is uh, to try all the cartridges in your system, and that's easy with this, our construction of tone arm and the mm -hmm. tone table. It's very easy to, to, to do that, because we, have, we can adjust it easily, and then we can find out which is the best for your system. Cool. And what is important too, not only with one record, you have to try the several yeah, records. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. This, this also, some of the, this uh, high end audio guys they have a big system, but only 10 records. <laughs> they, they do exist, that's true. And then there was a third part, and, and, and maybe uh, we go briefly to the turntable because there was a, and we didn't uh, talk about that because that was so clear which one we take. That was the stereo cartridge, right? And, and maybe you show the, the cartridge that you use in general for your turntables? Yes, I can, I can do that, but for me, uh, we of course use our uh, own cartridge, the Einstein, the pickup, uh, which I made with Live Johansson from uh, Autophone. Right. So it's, he, it's, I got mm -hmm. a lot of help uh, from them. It's not an Autophone cartridge, but uh, we designed this with uh, Live Johansson from, uh, from uh, Autophone. And the cartridge itself is built by Autophone, which is a great, really great company with constant cartridges. Every cartridge is like the other, so it's uh, no tolerance. It's very, very good. We are very happy with that. And uh, of course, I know if you, if you go around, you found turntables with Lyra cartridge mm -hmm. or Fandano. And they, they all have, have their uh, advantage, advantages and flaws, but I think. It's very important to find the right combination of cartridge to tone arm mm -hmm. and to the, to, uh, to the turntable and then uh, to connect it to your system. I think that's very important. Right. There is no best cartridge. Yeah. So after this beautiful welcome from the community, I ask you now officially, please join us every now and then. Maybe we even do a live stream where you answer some questions people might have about uh, 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 hi-fi equipment in general and, 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 and share just your knowledge, ideas of, of yeah, four decades, right, Volker? Yes, for <laughs> a minimum of four decades. You see, I'm white already. Uh, yes, uh, I, will, I will think about that because uh, I think uh, the com community, your community, is for me maybe is uh, uh, very interesting and I it's kind of uh, remembers me to the 30 years ago, 40 yes. years ago. It's more to the music, exactly. more to the record, to the music. That's where I come from, mm -hmm. where I came from. 
Thank you, thank you very much, Volker. There's one thing, because yeah? there was another oh, sorry, yeah? thing of, about friction of yeah? the bearing. Okay. This guy, I don't know his name, sorry for that. Mm -hmm. But he said uh, uh, a bearing with no friction, mm -hmm. uh, how uh, has he done it? No, every bearing has a friction. The guy is right, but this one we did very, very, uh, very, very low the friction. Mm -hmm. So I see uh, if I take the belt away, it's still turning and turning. We can wait for two minutes or so, or okay. uh, uh, even longer. <laughs> wow. So it's very low friction. It's still we're moving, moving, moving. Wow. We can do this now for several minutes, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, it's still moving. I can believe me. It's yeah, yeah, long, I see long that. Time. Wow. Yeah, maybe we... we, we uh, uh, stop this now with this beautiful picture of the still yeah. turning turntable and again Volker thanks you for taking the maybe time maybe the community should say uh, what they want if they want exactly. to see me again it's, uh, I, I, it's I have okay if they won't see me <laughs> see this face again <laughs> also okay thank you so much Volker bye it's still turning yeah, hmm. yeah. but I stop now <laughs>